Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Party 4. So, um, you're done. Let me tell you the results. First, let's check the number of stars. Here's everyone's number of stars. You know, I didn't crush them this time, but still got the win. Next, look at, look at everyone's number of coins. Here's everyone's number of coins. Crushed them in that department, at least. And, um, here comes the bonus star results. Each chosen player receives one star. First in the minute is the minigame star. This is for the person who got the most coins in minigames. Do I really have to explain this so this is the fourth game? And of course I'm the minigame star because I'm so good at these minigames. Heck yeah. Next coin star. I think we all know who got this one based on how many coins I have. Yep. Now for the one I'm not so sure about, the happening star. And finally the happening star. This goes to the player land on the most happening spaces. So this party's happening star is... Oh! A perfect sweep again! Sweet! I gladly accept. And um, here come the final results. And so I'm guessing that means I'm first, Mario's second, and... I think Waluigi's third? Maybe fourth? Can't remember how many coins he had. No, but he's third. And yep, I was right. Sweet. The winner is Yoshi! Dang right. Yoshi wins again. Even rolling fourth, I still got it. <laughs> you are the party star once again. Fantastic, as it always should be. At least when I'm playing computers. When I'm playing uh, real people, it doesn't always end this way. <laughs> okay, I guess I kind of crushed him in the star department since I got five at the end, but uh, not quite as dominant as the first board, but that's okay. As long as I win, that's all that matters. So that way we can progress to the next one. And wow, I'm the only one that land on a happening space at all. I didn't know that. Wow. Um, okay. Cool. Anyways, let's move on. Am I going to play a minigame with him before I get my president too? Congratulations, Yoshi. So, um, here's the president I promised. You're going to make me play a minigame too, aren't you? But the rules say... I called it! You have to beat me at a minigame. Uh, and unfortunately Shy Guy has one of the worst minigames of all, let me tell you. This one sucks. Um, let's have an archaeology guess match. Do you think you need to hear the rules first? One of the five, five swing blocks has a unique will have a unique shape. Use the control stick to move under the one block that doesn't match, and then press A to hit the switch. Pressing the switch lets you choose that block. You get a point if you're right, but you get crushed if you're wrong. If you can get three points before I do, then you win. So um, let's start. Yeah, you think that sounds simple, but look at this! They're all spitting! Like, this one's pretty easy. It's clear that circle there, but what? Look, let me back up for a bit. So they're, they're always going to be constantly spitting like that. And, you know, one, one was obviously different there, but look at this. How am I supposed to tell what's different here? They look exactly the same! I don't see any difference. Okay, I see it now. That one's shorter. But seriously, with how fast it spins, how the heck am I supposed to know? Like, I know this is supposed to make it more challenging, but come on! This is ridiculous! Um... Oh, well, he got right right away. Great, now he's catching up. Oh boy, I have a bad feeling this is going to be a close matchup. Uh... This one? Oh, my goodness, I got it right. Whew. Trust me when I say, that minigame can sometimes take quite a few tries, because it's just... I got lucky that time, but sometimes the shapes look exactly the same and can be really annoying, and I hate it. Ugh, screw that minigame. Congratulations, Yoshi. And so, um... Alright, now I get my present. Yay. Here's your present. Oh, wow! You got Yoshi's table! That's awesome! I wish I had a table that cool looking. Sadly, I only have generic looking tables. Boo. I'd love to get a table that looks like that someday. May one in the shape of an NES controller too, that'd be cool, or a Super Nintendo controller. I do one in the shape of a Nintendo 64 or GameCube, but uh, 
That'd be kind of an awkward shape for the builder and I'd feel kind of bad. That's it. Anyways, let us move on. Could also also do one in the shape of, weir of a weird mode. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, I took a little break, so hence the uh, transition there. So now we're going to move on to Goomba's Greedy Gala. Or however it's pronounced. Whoa, let's rock this party. Yeah, let's rock this party. I agree. Wonder who I'm going to be facing this time. Guess we'll find out. Goomba's Greedy Gala. Is that how it's pronounced? I hope so, because that's one what, what I'm going to keep saying. Alright, so we got a very casino themed one. That's cool, I guess. Luigi. Wario and Waluigi again? What? Welcome to Go Goomba's Greedy Gala. So, hey, I had all the space and I made it into a casino. Pretty high class, no? Feel. Feel your heart pound and your nerves jitter as you lay it all on the line. Now, who's going to go first? Hopefully me. Yes! Thank you. Alright then, Yoshi's first. Waluigi's second. Luigi's third. And Wario is fourth. To start, you each get ten coins. Ready to beat the odds? I hope so. The game begins with the first star over here. And here we go. Get to the star with 20 coins and it's yours. Or whatever he says. So yeah, it's a very casino themed uh, level. So that obviously means there's going to be a lot of luck based in this one. So I'd say this is a really good board to play for uh, people, for like friend, friend, can't talk, friend gatherings and whatnot. Because that way everybody gets more of a fair chance. It's a little less uh, skill based. But if you're more skill-based like me, then uh, yeah, it's really not not that exciting. But it, it's not bad. I don't hate this board. This board is perfectly fine. There's nothing that makes me say, "Oh, this is the worst board ever." Oh, uh, it's worse than Mario's Battle Canyon. No, that will never happen. Mario's Battle Canyon, Mario Part One is hot garbage, and I will stand by that till I'm gone. Also, way better than Woody Woods in Mario Party Three. How that guy in Mario Party Top One or not one Top One Hundred, but. Uh, Super Mario Party, or Night Super Mario Party, Mario Party All-Stars, I will never understand. Woody Wood sucked then and it sucks now. Anyways, moving on. Mario Speed Wings, we've already played this, so let's just get it over with. But seriously, Mario and Waluigi again? Am I seriously just going to get those two every single time I play a new board? Like, I feel like you guys might be getting tired of them too, but come on. Alright, let's go. Alright, change gear now. And again, and uh, down won't be a record or anything of like that. Nope. That sucks. Oh well. Don't matter. I won. That's all that matters. And hey, Luigi's car looks kind of cool. I like the blue. Go figure. I like the blue. Blue is my favorite color, along with red. Anyways, back to the board. So there is one thing about this board that I don't particularly love, and it's right in the middle there, the uh, roulette wheel. We'll see how that works in a minute. I'm pretty sure Luigi's going to get to it this turn, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see though. If not, we'll see it next turn for sure, I'm, I'm positive that much. Yeah, while well, Luigi going to get anything? And uh, you think maybe next game we can not get Wario and Waluigi? I'm, I'm frankly getting a little tired of seeing these two myself. I'd like to show off some of the other characters and what they say and do, but no, can't do that because they keep wanting to give me Wario and Waluigi for some weird reason. I don't get that. Okay, yeah, so here's the roulette wheel. Welcome to the roulette. Now start the roulette. So basically, he's going to throw a ball in there, and wherever it lands, that's where you got to go. Now if you hit the star, then you get 20 coins, I believe and you get to pick where you want to go, but that's kind of hard to get. Now, if you have enough coins, you can actually uh, give them to Goomba, and he says, hey, maybe I'll put more in your favor, so that, that way you can go to where the star is, I assume. But uh, here's the thing, even when I do that, it doesn't always work. So, that's annoying. Yep, that, that's annoying. If nobody's looking, send me some coins. Me, I like guarantees, but hey, whatever. So, yeah. 
He can be bots, which, you know, that's convenient, I guess, to try to help your odds. But at the same time, it's just, it's all luck-based. I hate luck-based games, what can I say? I've complained about this in other Mario Party LPs, and I'll complain about it here, too. I just don't like freaking, you know, luck-based games. You know, there's no skill whatsoever, but, you know, the, the older I get, the more I think about it. Yeah, that makes it a little bit more fair for those that just aren't the same skill level as me, so... I can understand why there has to be some luck here and there. So, yeah, I, I, it's one of those things I've kind of, you know, grown a little bit more okay with over the years. Pretty sure uh, my mom and my uh, brother-in-law and my sister would never beat me in Mario Party if there wasn't any luck at all. That's not me trying to be rude, as I played these games so many times and whatnot. Anyways, now we're on parasailing, so we got one person uh, sailing the boat, or driving the boat, I should say. And uh, one person on a parachute collecting coins, so you gotta keep adjusting your speed so you can get uh, the lower coins and watch out for the boxes and all that, so... This isn't a bad minigame at all. I, I actually really like it. This is actually one of my favorite coin collecting minigames in this game. Probably my favorite, actually. Actually, now I think about it. Unless the boat driver sucks, of course, because uh, if you get a bad boat driver, oh boy, you're going to miss a lot of coins. And also, the RNG with the boxes can be kind of annoying sometimes, too. But hey, sometimes you get really good and get 29 coins like I did. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, we are rich. Well, not rich, but you know what I mean. Lots of coins for me and Waluigi. Fantastic. So, yeah, I like bear sailing. That's a fun one. Reminds me, I want to take my boat out soon. As soon as the weather gets warm, I want to go fishing. Hey, what's up? Welcome to the roulette. Ahem, if nobody's looking, send me some coins. What do you say? No. I'll just keep resetting the turn until it goes right. How's that sound? Because seriously, uh, so, just so annoying. Don't, don't like that part. Again, even paying him, it doesn't seem to matter much. He still kind of does whatever he wants. It's still random. Like, you might get a better odd, supposedly, but I don't know. It just never works out for me. Whatever the case, though. See where Waluigi's going. He didn't pay either. Oh, he's also going to where I went. Lame. Not good, because he has enough coins for the star, too, so that means it's a race now. Oh, boy. And Ooh, what's Luigi doing? Is he going to go up through that pipe there, I wonder, with that many mushroom? Let's find out. Let us find out. No, he's not. What a waste. Yeah, whatever the case. I guess I can't blame him because the star's not that way, but still. I have no idea why Wario's using his Mega Mushroom when there's nobody there. I guess he just really wanted to roll two dice blocks. But what good is that going to do you when you're not even close to the star? It makes no sense. Oh, and those dice spots there. Oh, boy. We're going to see those later, and I cannot wait to complain about those, because those things suck even worse than the roulette wheel. Yeah, I just said that. You just heard me complain about the roulette wheel, but oh no. The dice blocks, they're even worse. But we'll talk about that when we actually get to it, which might be next part, but we'll see. Anyways, we got slime time again. Yay. I mean, we've already played this, so what do you want me to say? Just tap that A button. Yeah, tap, 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 and done. Yeah. What do you want me to say? You just want me to read Slime Power again? Okay. Slime Power. Anyways, back to the board. I rolled a seven, not bad. Lucky number seven, I like it. Sure, I'll go down to the lottery shop just so I can get my ticket, I guess. Probably gonna lose again, though, because the lottery sucks, but let's give it another shot. All right, yeah, here's my five coins. Come on, gold ball. We want the gold ball. Let's go, baby, let's go. Come on. Show me the go Ooh, nice! I got red! Sweet! Got Blumo. That's the second best prize. Here's your 30 coins. What luck! I gladly accept. Come make 
Come again, make sure to tell your friends about this amazing place. Well, I wouldn't call it amazing, but, uh, you know. It, it's, it's okay, I guess. Oh boy, what's Luigi gonna get? Another mini mushroom that you can waste? Nope, mega mushroom this time. Good for you, pal. Good for you. Oh, I was kind of hoping Wario would land on the uh, happening space so we could see what that does, but nope, not this time. So you may notice, too, there's uh, no way back to the uh, roulette wheel where uh, Wario's standing. That's where the dice blocks come in. Yeah. I can't wait to complain about those. Probably in the next part. Because uh, we're out of time now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all then. Later.